What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode five of our Alpha Sapphire Let's Play playthrough. So, if you guys like this series, definitely give me a like right now because uh, I'm seeing the view counts a little bit lower than I'd like, and I just want to make sure that you guys are enjoying this content. Uh, it, it means a lot to me to, that people are watching and that people like what I'm doing here. So if you are enjoying this, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. That would mean a lot to me. So we are in the Rust Turf Tunnel and we're gonna keep on going right here. We see a, a rock that we cannot smash and we pick up a Pokeball, which uh, is gonna be useful. We're in our first cave here. So we might be able to get ourselves a, a beast defensive ground type Pokemon. This dude, Team Aqua's got a Wingle. I thought Wingles were good guys. I didn't realize they were bad. What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. What? What? Coming? Oh, okay. I just, I just had to. I think they were just giving me the opportunity to be like, oh no. Wait, no. <laughs> I'm not even battling him. I got into a fight with a Whismer who's creating an uproar in this cave, apparently. Charles, let's get you, uh, you're in charge. Let's give you a bite attack on this guy. Charles, uh, Charles' bite looks like a two-hit KO. We get the flinch. Sorry, man. A little bit of hacks, but it is a 30% chance, so I can't feel too bad. Cannot feel too bad. Wild Whismer goes down, which is fine, because we already have Crybaby waiting in the box if we wanted a Whismer. Computer's clicking at me. My laptop. Stop it, laptop. Stop it. Can I talk to this dude now? Graw! Keel haul it all! This hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. And you, now you're here to battle me? Really? Was he yelling? I saw like the chat bubble was like this. Like, oh, it is. Oh, we got Team Aqua. He's just a grunt though. See, right now, like, this is the problem with uh, with the Team Aqua, Team Plasma, Team Gal Galaxy, all those leaders. They don't assess the problem at an early enough stage. They're like, nothing can stop our plan except one pretty good trainer. Like, if he just sent a bunch of people, a bunch of, like, trainers at me right now with really high-level Pokemon, they would have snuffed me out. I would have, like, gone home crying to my mommy. I never would have, I never would have, you know, solved this whole thing. So, his Poochine is actually a higher level than Charles, but Charles outspeeds, but I miss the 95% accuracy attack, and he goes for a sand attack. Now I'm in real trouble. Um, I think what I might have to do is set up a little bit here, so I'm going to go for the Howl, because I think I'm going to need to, if I'm going to be shooting and missing a lot, I'm going to need to hit with a, a super effective attack, I think. not a super effective, uh, a one-shot KO attack. So um, I'm going to go for another Howl. And maybe a third, maybe a third howl after this, just to ensure that I get the one shot. Because, I, well, you know, that might not even be enough. He's going to go for another sand attack. Charles, this is, your, this is your moment, buddy. I can't have you go down because, like I said, my rules are if he dies, he gets boxed. It's my self-imposed rules. Charles, I don't want you to go down here. But uh, we're kind of putting some eggs in some baskets here. Missed the Fire Fang, which is a big issue, that first Fire Fang miss. But we land this one. It's going to be a two-hit KO. He goes for a Howl of his own, which I think is I think that's okay. I'm going to go for another Fire Fang here. I know it's not 100% accuracy, and that is going to be a problem, but Bite is not very effective, and I'm not confident it'll kill. So we go for the Fire Fang. Unfortunately, I miss. He's going to go for another Bite at, uh, at plus one. It's going to come down to this. Oh, no, I have an Orin. I have an Orin. How much is that going to give me? 20? No, it's 10 or 15. 10, it looks like. Um, I got to land this Fire Fang. Come on, Charles. We miss, unfortunately. What's he going to go for? Odor Sleuth to lower my accuracy or increase his. Just to make normal type moves hit dark types. We got to go for another Fire Fang. Come on, Charles. Now is your moment. I miss again. He goes for another Sand Attack. Each time he does this, he's giving me one more chance, one more roll of the dice to land this attack. Because otherwise, Charles, I think we'll go down to one more attack. We go for the Fire Fang. We miss a third Fire Fang. He's going to go for the Bite. Charles, can you live this? He cannot. We lost. We lost Charles. It was a big gamble there, guys. I thought Charles could do it. I wanted Charles to do it. 
Unfortunately, Charles goes down. We are now Charles free. I'm so sorry, Charles. I could have switched you out, but I didn't think you'd I didn't think you'd miss that much. Chill, you're gonna come in here, you're gonna finish us off with a cut attack. If Charles had just landed that first fire fang, we would have been fine. I should have gone for another howl. I should have gone for three howls, it would have been a one hit KO. Instead, Chill comes in. We say goodbye to Charles. R.I.P., Mr. Charles. R.I.P. I loved you for a little bit. I liked your Fire Fang coverage, but... That's Pokemon, guys. This is why... I, and, you know, I like the opportunity to play with a lot of different Pokemon in my playthroughs, so this is good. Charles is, uh, Charles is gonna get boxed. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devin. You want to back that badly, then take him. Devon parts. <gasps> Am I going to get a Devon scope already? Sweet. And Pico, right? I think that's who this is, Pico. I was going to bring him to you, bro. You didn't need to come in here. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe? My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. And they call me Mr. Briny. And you are? Ah, so it's Geo, is it now? Then I sincerely thank you, Geo. If there's ever a thing I can do to help you in turn, do not you hesitate to tell me. If I'm to be found, it will always be at my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico. High time we are underway to go home. Piqui. He said that. It was in the bottom corner. He went, Piqui. Which is not what he would say, I don't think. We're going to see what's at the end of this cave here. It looks like a bunch of stuff to get smashed. Unfortunately, I can't be smashing. Let's see if we get a Geodude before we leave to replace Charles. Nah, it just looks like another stinking Whismer. I almost cursed, ladies and gentlemen, but I did not. I did not. So Miguel's at the top of the party once again. So let's see. Uh, let's just get him. Let's one shot that Whismer. Must have been naive. <laughs> Beldum's getting to a place where soon I'll be confident using him in battle. Even though he doesn't have a nickname, which is kind of lame. But I can't be letting that Beldum die like Charles. Such a needless sacrifice. Can't believe it. You gonna go back to work, bro? Roar! That goofy goon hightailed it out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. You're a black belt. What are you doing in that digging in that tunnel. There's not even anything in there. This dude's resting, just chilling at the, uh, that rust turf tunnel there. At first we had a huge crew working on boring through the rock with the latest machinery. But we had to stop. Turns out we would have had a negative effect on wild Pokemon in that area. So we're left lazing around here doing nothing. To get to Veranda... Verdant turf without using this tunnel, we'd need to cross the Sea of Duford, sail on to Slateport, and then travel through Mauville. Mauville. There's a man who dug all the way through Verdant turf by all by his lonesome. He was desperate to get through. He says if you dig little by little without using machines, you won't disturb Pokemon, and you'll avoid harming the natural environment. I didn't hit a stopwatch before I started this episode, so I DK how long it is. However, what I do know is that it's probably about half an episode currently. So let's, um, I didn't stick around that tunnel to get a Geodude. Um, instead, I'm gonna head back to Verdant Turf. I really want to see a Delcaddy. There it is. What did I just say, guys? And we're gonna slowly sneak up to this dude. Sneak, 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 sneak. <gasps> yes. Is this a Delicati? Are you a Delicati? Yeah, you are. Oh, a Skitty. Skitty becomes a Delicati. Okay. 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 Oh, dude, no. Miguel is going to, like, crush you, though, dude. Um, Who wouldn't just, like, straight up beast you? Beldum wouldn't. Beldum, you're coming in, bro. I also need to check what this guy's nature is. Nature. Nature walk. Beldum slips into the fray and immediately gets sung, but he dodges that sh with the nimbality of a crazy little Beldum bro. 
Hold back? What? That? Oh, that's the one that leaves him at 1 HP, right? Yeah, it does. Let's hit him with a Zen Headbutt. Because I don't think that'll one-shot. He goes for a tackle. N-B-E. Not very effective. I hit him with a Zen Headbutt. Stab on Skitty. Don't kill him. Perf. That's probably enough, to be honest. I'm not going to go for a hold back here. I'm just going to toss... I'm going to toss a little Pokeball at Skitty. Skitty, um, I'm curious what attack he had that was special. I think I can check that. I think there's a way to... Nah, I don't know. I don't know. He goes for a sing. He misses it again. Sorry, bro, but I don't feel that bad because I actually missed a whole bunch of attacks earlier. Also, thanks to Sand Attack. Um, so what we see here is a, a little shaky shaky. And that's a caught Skitty. Skitty's joining the team. Gonna be a Del Caddy. Beautiful Del Caddy. Um, are you male or female? We're gonna have to decide that, uh, what to do with your nickname after we've assessed. Look at this. Two feet tall, also 24 pounds. A full foot taller than Zig Zachary Goon and less weight. Skitty is known to chase around playfully after its own tail. Like a dog in the wild, this Pokemon lives in holes in the trees of forests. It's very popular as a pet because of its adorable looks. You got that right. Um, it looks like this is a female. Yeah, let's give it a, let's give it a nickname. Um, if you are a female, Skitty, and you like to play with your own tails, I'm going to call you Dog, because that's what dogs do. No, you're a female, though. Let's call you Doggette. Yeah. Doggette the Skitty. Dog cat. Cat dog. Cat dog. So we have a Skitty. Um, I'm not... I'm not sure what the, um, no, I just clicked a bunch of buttons that I, <laughs> I'm still learning, guys. There's still a lot to do with this Pokenav that I'm not super familiar with, but I'm curious what special moves the Skitty has. Um, but for now, let's, uh, let's beast out of here. So we finished, uh, Rust Turf Cave. We're going to go down here and go talk to Mr. Briny. I think things around here. What is this? Is this the trainer school? They'll teach me anything about Pokemon. Is there an item in here? Is this guy going to give me like a test and there's then there's an item? If I get it right? Or is he just going to teach me stuff? Oh, there is a quick claw. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. I got the quick claw. I'm really glad I came in here, guys. Quick claw is a great item. Mm-hmm. Meant to be held by Pokemon. Those things alone will get you many topics to study. Great, 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 great. Um, who is a good choice for this? Not chill. Hank's already fast. Doggett's fast. Miguel's not fast, but right now really out-leveling things. Beldum, you seem like the best option. Let's use or give you the fastest of claws. He's holding a Metagross eye? Well, he can't use it yet, so... Yeah, let's switch him for now. Dang. So wait, now... Is it, do I need to do anything? Do I... Or do I just get it? Just for talking to him? Do I have to fight these kids? Right, children. We sometimes attack... Yeah, I know that. I don't think I need to fight anything, do I? Yeah. Yeah, they don't know... Yeah, okay. I'm good. They had like a little book sale going on at the front of the uh, of the gym there. And we're going to check this house, although I don't imagine there's anything in it. Yeah, just a bunch of people sitting down. They might have had a TM though. But it's too late now. Challengers have already left. Why are there so many houses here? I feel like I should have explored this town earlier. Buddy. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you, it's just saying that you can find Pokemon with rare abilities using the Pokenav. Maybe that means hidden abilities. That would be cool. No, no way. I don't want to share a room with my little brother. I'm a grown-up woman. Girl, you look like you're ten. My parents got a house while raising two of us. I have the highest respect for my parents. You're a mature little boy. 
Time really flies when I'm doing housework. Perhaps I should hire a Pokemon housekeeper. Hmm. Perhaps you should. Pay him fairly. Feed him poffins and berries. And everything will work out. Those two kids are having a nice little conversation. I'm not going to interrupt that. I'm going to head down this way. Um, there was a place to cut, like, was it in the forest? You guys remember, this is episode three. We're going way back. We're going back, back, back to where we... I'm going to cut this. Chomp it on down. How long have we been going? Uh, I think we got a little bit longer. Let's try and get somewhere here. Uh, we're just kind of exploring at this point. Exploring together, having a good time is what we're doing. I'm having a good time. If you guys aren't having a good time, then tell me what to do. What do you guys, what do you want from me? Oh, I'm going to cut this right now. Yeah. Right now, Chill has been the MVP of this team because we would be nowhere without that guy. That looks like a place that a hidden item would be. <laughs> oh, a tiny little mushroom. I knew it. Why would it be there if there wasn't like a tiny hidden item? Oh, do you want to fight, bro? I just keep missing him. You should try this item. A miracle seed. Power up grass type moves or what? Yep. Yep. Other convenient items for Pokemon to hold. I agree. That would be great if I had a Trico right now, but I don't. I got a great ball. Wow. Big plays. Making big moves. Touching it feels good somehow. Interesting. I think a Pokemon might evolve from there. Ooh. What we're going to have to do is sneak up on this Pokemon. Yeah. Is this going to be another chill? I guess I missed it. There we go. Got it. I'm really scared about this sneaking mechanic. I, I, <laughs> I'm not very good at it. It is another slack off. Chill, we already got you. So, Miguel's still at the top of the line. I still haven't kicked. Uh, this guy's on level 5. Chill was level 15 when I got him. Not sure what's special about this slack off. Um, chill. Yeah, I got a, I got a box Charles. I got a box Charles is what I got to do still. Um, I really want to see Mr. Briny. I think we can end the episode once we, uh, once we catch up with that, bro. No, Miguel, you're not ready to evolve yet. Good gracious, crustaceous. Keeps trying. Keeps trying. Not until you get some better moves, dude, because I really don't like your move pool. At current, at present. Is this just a quick way out of here? But I'm in the Petalburg Woods. Didn't he say... Mm. Didn't he say... There's still a Pokemon in this area I haven't caught. Well, I'm just looking for Mr. Briny. Uh, now we've got this thing... On the screen, guys, which I still don't know. I think I'm going to have to look this up or something. Got an X attack. There seems to be a Pokemon somewhere. Normal type. I, like, but what do I do, though? Like, for real. Is it in here? Does this mean I'm going to fight it right now? This last Pokemon that I haven't seen? It's just a Zigzackery Goon. We already know about Zigzackery Goon. Haven't we fought Zigzackery Goon here? Miguel, just uh, hit him with a water gun. Make quick use of this level 4. I don't know why I'm going back so much. I really want to find Mr. Briny. It seems wrong of me to leave him. But tell you what, guys. I'm going to do that off camera since I'm probably just going to be like searching around this... Uh, this little forest for a little while so um when i come back on the next episode we will actually be in mr briny's house so assuming that it's here if not i'll just be back in rustborough city so thank you guys for watching definitely hit subscribe or like if you like this video and you want to see more of this let's play i'll be coming back with a new episode shortly as always my name's jim leader geo you guys are the challengers thanks for stopping by and i'll see you guys next time